Hey, this is Sarah from politicallyincorrecthealth.com. Today I'm going to show you how to separate cream from milk. So what you're going to need is one gallon of fresh milk that's not homogenized, because if it's homogenized, you're not going to be able to separate the cream. So right here I have a gallon that's been sitting in the fridge, and you can see the cream line right there. The bottom part is skim milk. And why would you want to separate it? Well, you can make ice cream, you can make sour cream, you can add it to your coffee, and this is raw milk, so you don't want to get the ultra-pasteurized heavy cream from the store. This is very healthy stuff. So right next to it, I have a pitcher that has a spigot at the bottom. You don't want to shake it up, because it's going to take longer to separate. Here's the cream right on top. There's some of the skin milk. A little bit of cream left. You just want to let this set in the refrigerator for about a day, but you can keep an eye on it if it happens sooner. And what we're looking for is that cream line. I'm going to put this in the fridge. Hi, I'd like to revise my earlier recommendation on waiting 24 hours for the cream to separate. If you haven't previously shaken up the milk, it's actually only going to take several hours. So, um, if you can see when the camera zoomed in, there is the milk and the, the cream lines right up here. There are two ways of doing this. I said to get a container with a spigot because you can just uh, drain this out into another container, J just drain the, the skim milk out, and then you'll have the cream right on top and you won't have to do anything else. I prefer doing it this method by taking this slotted spoon and carefully putting it into a mason jar with a funnel. And there you have it. It's that simple. And it's ready for ice cream and everything else.